Adventures. Greetings all, it's Chuk here from Chuk's Outdoor Adventures. Well, I get a lot of questions about specific calibers for specific animals, so I just wanted to do a breakdown of what I feel a appropriate caliber would be for each animal class. Now, a lot of this comes from interviews I've done with guides and professional hunters and just regular Joes that go out and hunt, but also this is kind of what I would choose. So we're gonna start out with small game. Now we're talking what Alaska State Fish and Game calls fur-bearing animals. So this is for the trapping season, rabbits, lynx, coyotes too, even though they're really not in the family because they're an invasive species, but things like that, that you would trap small game. So my choice would be a 12 gauge shotgun, uh, 22 long rifle. And uh, if you really wanted to get specific, a 17 HMR would be great. 22 Magnum would be great. For the bigger coyotes, I would probably go a 223 or a 6.5 Grendel. So those are my picks for those. Next, we have a section of sheep and mountain goat. Now, we mountain goat is native here. Sheep has kind of been planted here. Well, they died off for a while and then they were brought back in. But for that, I would go with a mid-level cartridge. I think 270 Winchester is perfect for sheep and mountain goat. And actually, I take even larger game with mine. This is my Kimber Mountain Ascent. It is chambered in 270, and it's kind of my go-to rifle. I'm not going to lie, even for caribou and black bear, even bigger animals. I would take this just because it's the lightest mountain rifle I have. Without the scope, this is like five pounds and change. It's pretty light, and it's been very accurate for me. I have taken several caribou with it. So I do believe in 270, but I think there's a lot of great options for sheep and mountain goat. Of course, the 6.5 Creedmoor. I like to make fun of it, but it's actually a great choice because it's really good long range round. 308, even 30 out six and 300 wind mag surprises people, but a lot of people will shoot very small black tailed deer in Southeast Alaska with their 300 wind mag. And the reason they do that is because it's very flat shooting. Sometimes you're shooting across a canyon or for hundreds of yards in the 300 wind mag. And that whole family really is gonna be very flat shooting and accurate. But also these are areas where you could run into a bear. So it makes sense. And that surprises people, but a lot of hunters actually bring their 300 wind mag on small black tailed deer hunts sheep hunts and mountain goat hunts. But really something like a 270, a 6.5 Creedmoor, I think would be perfect. Wolves are kind of their own section and really I think a perfect round for a wolf would be a 308 just to ethically put it down quickly. 6.5 Creedmoor would also be good. Even 223 Remington 5.56 is great for wolves. Now, a lot of people will notice that I'm choosing the 6.5 Creedmoor in a lot of these different sections, and I can't deny it has become very popular. One of the FFLs I interviewed recently did state that 6.5 Creedmoor was one of his highest selling rifles specifically for hunting that people were buying. Um, it does make sense for caribou, for large game, that, you know, like big brown bears and stuff, I, I wouldn't choose that, but some people are using it and it's working. It's all about shot placement when it comes down to it, but it is interesting. I, I would have been surprised a couple years ago if I had heard that, but it's just so many people are buying the rifles up here in Alaska. It's pretty interesting. So it can't be denied. 6.5 Creedmoor is being used a lot for hunting up here. You go to the sporting goods store and you'll see a huge section of 6.5 Creedmoor specific hunting rifle rounds for sale. So pretty interesting. Now we're getting into the kind of medium size, larger of the large game, the medium sized large game. So specifically black bear and caribou. 
I would choose a 270 again. I, I think it's perfect for black beer and caribou. 308 would be my second choice. 30-06 is widely used. It's probably a universal round that you could use for a lot of these animals. 300 Win Mag, of course, can't go wrong. And again, we have the 6.5 Creedmoor, which will work for those sized animals too. Next, we have moose, probably the old, one of the largest animals up here. I would say a minimum of 30-06 is what you want. 300 Win Mag, that whole family of the 300 Win Mag size rounds is great. 338 Win Mag, shot placement trumps all, though Chuck recently killed a moose with, I don't know what he had. He had like some 264 Norma. It was a really small round, uh, but, you know, he put it down and it didn't go far. So it, it depends on shot placement. But for moose, personally, I wouldn't choose smaller than 30-06, and I'd probably choose 300 Win Mag and on up. Next, we get into the fun discussion, brown bear. Uh, my choice would be 338 Win Mag and on up. For the rifles that I have right now, Unfortunately, I don't have a really big, big dangerous game round rifle, but I do have a 338 Ruger that is just solid, and this will do great on a brown bear. Chuck uh, shot a brown bear in the face with a 338 Win Mag rifle, very similar to this one. It was an older one, had a really nice stock. He got it from me, but he was at 80 yards. It was coming down a trail and he shot it right in the face. It just crumpled and died instantly right there. So you can't say that 338 is not a good choice, but if I were to go to Kodiak Island or the Alaska Peninsula where the largest of the large brown bears were, I would, my choice would be a 375 H&H. &H. Uh, 375 Ruger is fine too. 4570 will work. 416 Rigby is a great choice. Then of course you got stuff like the 470 Nitro Express and something like you would bring to Africa would also be a good choice. Now I will mention that I've talked to a lot of people in villages, um, buddies I know, a lot of people will buy a 5.56 AR-15 or a 7.62 by 39 AK-47 and take everything from walrus that weighs 1,500 pounds to polar bears to bear, moose, bear, everything because it's cheap and uh, in rural Alaska, you know, a gallon of milk can be $10, a gallon of gasoline can be $10, everything's $10. So a lot of times people will get military surplus ball ammo and they will still dispatch everything. It's widely known. Google it if you don't believe me, but I have talked to people that have done that. So really interesting. I tend to like the 308. The 30-06 I'd probably say was a universal rifle caliber that is suggested by Alaska Fishing Game uh, for brown bear, moose, everything, just because it's, you know, sturdy enough to get the job done, but it doesn't have a lot of recoil. I prefer the 308 Winchester. My dad says that, you know, the 308 can do everything the 30-06 can, and I believe him with correct bullet choice, you can really take any kind of large game with a 30 caliber bullet and the 308 has very light recoil. Uh, you can be very accurate with it. And I, I think this will work for everything. A lot of people will disagree with me on that. I also tend to choose the 270 Winchester um, for a lot of my hunts. I've even taken it on brown bear hunts in case I saw a brown bear, but um, if it was a dedicated Kodiak hunt, like I said, I'd choose a 375 H and H. So really interesting. I've been surprised recently with the popularity of 6.5 Creedmoor, but if I had to pick one to suggest, it would probably be 30-06. I would tell people, but myself, I would choose a 308 just for a universal Alaska round. So let me know what you guys think. I'll keep doing the videos. It's Chew, your friend in the field. My name is Chew. I like to trade my guns just for fun. But now I have none. Oh, look at Chuck my bear. But I don't care. I got a 10 millimeter. Chew down your adventures. Why don't you call us die every time? Guaranteed.